Wake up, wake up to the O and the crew. And if you motherfuckers didn't know, now you do. You better wake up, up so wake ain't up. no discussion you did. Rap flip. What's good, family? We're back in. It's your boy Z to the Izzo. I be Mizzo. <laughs> if you didn't Mizzo. I'm psyched up. Yeah, man, we back rolling. You know what I'm saying? Back it up to chop it again. Chop it up again for the one time. <laughs> Sorry, now nah, we're going to talk about uh, feelings about marriage. I'm going to talk about marriage a little bit. Talk about jumping over the broomstick. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's changing the vows. The old ball and chain, as they call it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man, but it ain't what it was, and it ain't what it's supposed to be. That's that's what I can say about it. You know, just you know, speaking on it. I mean, what is it? It's kind of it's some kind of like I don't know. Maybe just because the women is different nowadays, and you know, between the simp's and the women that's like mostly men, but just like got vaginas. Between them two, they didn't just pretty much turn marriage into something that I don't even know what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, fellas, we got in our mind what we think marriage should be like, and then it's reality. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to understand that the two is not the same. You know what I'm saying? What you what you think a woman gonna bring to you, what you hope a woman is gonna bring to you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, bruh. You know what I'm saying? She not gonna live like that. You know? This is, I mean, the, the, the way society got the woman pumped up right now, dude, it's really not the time to be playing that. You know what I'm saying? Because for one, marriage ain't got nothing to do with love anyway. So let's get that straight off the bell. Marriage ain't got nothing to do with love at all. It don't have nothing to do with it, especially marriage in the 21st century. Because marriage in the 21st century mean uh, y'all go down to a courthouse and file paperwork at the same place that you file paperwork at for a business to get signed any other corporation. Cause that's what you create. You create a corporation with two parties and both of those parties own 50% of that corporation. Even if one party came in with nothing, this would need to be understood, you know? So if, if you, marriage won't hurt you as much if you look at it for what it is, it's a financial agreement. You know, all the, all them vows and shit don't mean shit. A vow used to mean something, but now nowadays it's no honor in the streets. You know, but it, I think, like I said in a previous video, it take a man to teach honor, and it ain't no men teaching no sons right now. The majority of the sons getting raised, unless they white sons, is getting raised by single mothers. You know, that's just that's just a flat out truth. So most black men. You know, is getting raised by single mama, man. Single moms, man. That's just, that's just reality of it. And it's not I'm not saying that some of these guys didn't make it through and their mama did the best they could. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of Tupacs came out of single mother households. You know what I'm saying? But they all got they love, you know, the negative qualities that come with that. But I was just saying all that to say that women don't teach honor. So if you're looking for honor, you're not gonna get that from a woman. You're not gonna they're not gonna teach that. Because they can't teach that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no honor among women anyway. Y'all know how it is. That backs out their best friend to get what they want. <sighs> Think I ain't. <sighs> y'all already know. I don't even gotta tell y'all about that. You know. I was just saying, it's a financial agreement, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the money, man. It's all about the money. This is how you know. Say you all lovey dove, you with a little chick or whatever. And uh matter of fact. It was this post. It was this Facebook post I was looking at, and the chick had this little itty bitty ring, and the, and the meme was, "Are you still getting? Would you still marry him if the ring? The ring was like, you could be. It was microscopic. That's how small the diamond was on it. If it was a diamond, it, I mean, it looked like a piece of shit Cracker Jack ring. Like Cracker Jack made rings better than, better than that. It was funny, but it was just the idea of it. And I would just ask you, showing women that, just to see their reaction to it. You know what I'm saying? 
And it was crazy. It was crazy. It was just like they had animosity towards that picture. It was just like when they saw that picture, it was pissed. They was pissed off that the ring looked like that. So I, my question was, you know, what about love? What about what about my man? You know, I don't even think I got no answers back. They were so riled up by the fact that the ring. They said that ring was insulting to them. Like he, ins this is this is insulting me by bringing me this ring. I'm sitting there like, wow, you know what I'm saying? But it goes to show you, fellas, it don't got nothing to do with what you feel like. It don't got nothing to do with your love or none of that. That don't mean shit. Love is a bonus. <laughs> if you get that, most marriages don't got no love. And it's just a, a, a sour financial agreement and uh, get two undersex partners. Because I don't know what it is about marriage. Once y'all get married, all that... Uh, Let's do it in the car shit before we go home. That shit over. Ask anybody that's married. Why is it about to be a simp raise his hand like, oh, me and my wife still do it. Shut your ass up, nigga. I'm speaking for the, the majority. Y'all ain't talking about you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's always that one nigga that want to stand up. And when you're telling the truth about something, he want to stand up and put some bullshit in the game like, like what you're saying ain't right because he do something different. Simp. Simpish behavior once again. But still, though. One of the things I would say about it is that it don't really benefit a man, though. Add it up. Add it up, man. Marriage don't really benefit no man. What do a man really get out of it? I mean, maybe in the 1950s, the marriage benefited you because, shit, you, you was getting a loyal companion that wasn't going nowhere. She was going to stay with you forever. You know what I'm saying? And she was there for you. Right now, these women are not here for us. They're here for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And you talk to any woman, they tell you that. We ain't gonna go into the, the nature of a woman was there was to be man's uh uh co-part and stick with him. Even ducks got this shit together. Look at animals, they got it together. They pair up and that's it. They ain't trying to hop from mallard to mallard like these bitches is, you know what I'm saying? And that's just for real, you know. But it don't really benefit no man, man. It really don't. All it's gonna do is wind up costing you some money, you know what I'm saying, and putting you in a situation where you got greater temptation. Now, just like fellas, have you noticed that when you old girls say that y'all item and y'all claim that, that's when the bitches come out. The freak come out at night. Have you noticed that? Before you say anything, it's like y'all just, you know, just rocking or whatever. That's one thing. But as soon as y'all put a title on that shit, bitches about to be throwing pussy to you left and right. So I was just saying that to say that if that's going on with just a relationship, what you think gonna happen when you put a ring on? You don't think it's really gonna jump off? This don't this don't convince you. Before you get married, before you hitch, uh, put a ring on, put a fake red ring on, and walk around with it for a minute. Go to bars with it, and you know, kind of like don't flash it, but you know, like. Let it so it be seen. Women, other women can see it on you. And watch what you learn. That's the best thing I can tell you. Watch what you learn. You know what I'm saying? But another thing. Who idea was it for men and women to live together on those terms anyway? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm perfectly fine with the idea of living apart together. I don't, I don't need my woman to live with me. I really don't, man. I mean, I, I, re I really don't like that. That's not a necessity for me. I, I could, a woman can still be important to me and she can live where she need to live at. You know what I'm saying? To me, I think it's better for arguments sake. I think it's, I think it's just better. I think it keep things fresh. I think it keeps things new. Cause we all in the same house together, man. Y'all staring in the same room, sleeping in the same bed with the same covering. Uh, man, that shit gonna create a, a boredom and a monotony that's just gonna make y'all argue. It's gonna make you argue. Don't add bills into that. Don't add work schedules into that. Don't add that time of month into that. And you gotta understand, a lot of arguing kills the magic. It killed the magic, bro. So I don't know about you, but after I done argue with a motherfucker, I done hit the, you know, hit levels and fuck you, too, ah! all that shit. I don't be, I can't turn around and be like, all right, man, we cool. I mean, I can do that. I, I can forgive a motherfucker, but it's, it's not like. Now we about to just keep going with the relationship like nothing wrong. We can't do that either. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said in one of my last videos, man, something is better off not broke. Something is better off not broken. I think a relationship is one of them.
don't break it, it'll it, it, it be straight. It'll be solid. It'll be it'll do what you need it to do. It'll hold water. But if you break it and glue it back together, man, that shit ain't gonna hold water, man. And that, that's just flat out truth, man. You know, but who got that idea? Who they get that idea from? Al Bundy or something? You know what I'm saying? Married with children. Al and Peg. Like, who, who came up with that idea that men and women need to sleep together? And then when I asked my mother about it, she told me back in the day her mom and daddy didn't even sleep in the same room. They didn't even do that. So I done heard it from several older older people that that's just how they live. She had her room, he had his room. Me personally, that man is so much better, dude. That is so much better. But it's letting me know also that this is a fairly new practice. This is something, like I said, where come when it come out, married with children. I don't like that idea. You know what I'm saying? I want to have my own room. I need my own dresser for my drawers. You know what I'm saying? I need my own covers and pillows and shit like that. I mean, I'm not saying that we're not going to have sleepovers on each other room and nothing like that. That's fine with me. But she need to have her own room where the bedroom set she want. Fuck all that. Let's pick on the bed set together. No, hell no. You pick which bed sets you want. I pick what bed set I want. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the room's going to be both of y'all's. So, I mean, y'all can sleep together every night, but it's just going to be in your room or in her room. And then when y'all get to arguing, which you will, you can go to your room. Shut the door for a minute. Other than that, y'all gonna be in the same room, arguing, sitting on each other, the ends of the bed, and the argument is gonna be nonstop. The guy's about to be quiet in the room. Now you sitting on one end of the bed, she's sitting on the other end of the bed, or she getting up cleaning up and shit because she mad, or it's just quiet, it's quiet, negative air in the room. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Y'all done been in these relationships, man. Y'all already know. That shit don't change when you get married, dude. That shit do not change. That shit is a prequel to the show. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about to be and son. So if you if you ain't got it together now, dude, don't think putting a ring on that bitch finger is going to somehow change the men her mentality towards this shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? For one, another thing, you overexposed. Overexposure to anything is not good, dude. An overexposed picture is not good. You know what I'm saying? Overexposure to sunlight is not good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing overexposed is good. I need you all to understand that. You know what I'm saying? And when you're in a marriage, you are it's always constant overexposure. That's the name of the game for you to overexpose yourself. See, a lot of people don't know. The whole idea of marriage wasn't created by Satan, but it was it was uh Dangle like a carrot in front of man by Satan. Not really in front of man because I don't think Adam really cared. But he dangled it in front of Eve, dude. And you can't tell me that the enemy can show you, can show a woman some uh, pictures of somebody getting married and the bride with all of her makeup and the family's clapping and they crying for her and they throwing rice. What woman don't want that? What woman don't want that? Y'all know about the woman that uh, married herself, right? She wanted that feeling so bad to have her little matrimony that she wanted to do it about her damn self. And that's just, <laughs> that's somewhere else to me, man. That's that's a whole nother ball game. That's way over there. You know what I'm saying? Way over there. But it's, it's the truth, though. You know what I'm saying? What woman don't love that? And it was brought by the enemy. The reason the enemy brought man that because the enemy know how important vows are. See, right now, vow is not important to a man no more. So he, he, like, you know, back in that back in that day, when you vowed something, that shit was gold. You know what I'm saying? When, when a man said he's going to do something, that was just as good as gold. Because he was going to do it. You know, his word meant something at that time. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, it's not like that at all. You know what I'm saying? So the reason he wanted man to, uh, to even do the marriage, because, you know, he know, he know how much vow is important to God. You know what I'm saying? Because most I say it's better for you to not vow than to vow and not pay. So don't come in here talking about what you're going to do and then don't do it. Don't set up a vow with your word and make your word not be true. You know what I'm saying? So you're not supposed to do that. But the enemy understood what was going to be happening in, in these days about how temptation and how sex runs these streets. Sex is all in these streets. So with, with y'all, what y'all fellas need to understand is that the vows was there so that you can hang yourself. Cause what what man don't hang yourself? If you get married, you headed towards adultery, dude. If you if you get married under the conditions that we live under right now, you headed towards adultery, dude. 
Because you're putting yourself in a situation where when you're with a woman that's unstable at times, you're going to argue with that woman at times. You're going to have those quiet moments with that woman at times. And then other women are going to come around you and they're going to almost console you with the bullshit. Like, I, I just, I can't believe she's treating you like that. Ooh, and that's how it's going to go down, man. You know, it's, it's, it's going to go down. Me, me, I honestly, I, I, I know that a man and a, a woman can't be alone together, especially after prime time hours. Man and woman can't be alone together. If you, if you get along with any woman, you will fuck her. And that's just the flat out truth, dude. Try me if you think I'm playing. <laughs> but don't try it because I know it's true already. And I'm sure real other fellas know it's true. This is how the, the big woman that's 500 pounds get kids. Some dude wound up along with her. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how it happened. I don't care if you're waiting on your homeboy and she she coming downstairs. I mean, are you waiting on your homeboy and she's waiting downstairs with you? Or uh, it don't it don't make a difference, dude. How, however y'all get along, it, it'll go down, dude. Especially if y'all if you in that woman's bedroom or she in your bedroom. I don't care if y'all don't like each other. Y'all bodies is gonna start just magnetically attracting. Like it's gonna happen, dude. Like so you can't trust yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I know that for a fact. Um, women expect marriage to be something different, too. They think that once they get get a ring and get into a marriage, it's going to shift. And then the lovely bliss we always was told was going to kick in. Now. That's not true, dude. That's not how it works. It's going to be the exact same relationship you had. So if you haven't been strengthened in that, don't think you get this new boost of energy. It don't happen like that. Not at all. You know, all with, you know. Do you, a woman's love is big as the ring you can afford. You can use that as a motto. You know, I, I believe in the cubic zirconia, though. I don't think it's no different. I really don't. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? It might be a different, you know, actual, you know, mineral or whatnot. But it's 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 going to do the same thing. It's going to look the same things. But it's no sense in you breaking the bank to buy this woman a ring, dude. And that's all she care about. All she care about. What she what they say? What's what they say the standard go? Six months to your pay or something like that? They ain't worth it, bro. Get her a zoo zirconia that look good and call it a day. If you're gonna even play this game, I wouldn't. But if you is, you know, go ahead. You know. It ain't no more. If I was your woman type female, I can't sing, so <laughs> this is where a rap come from. My voice is a rap voice. It's like no, but it ain't, it ain't no uh if I was your woman type females, no more, man. These bitches talking about if you can't pay my bills, we can't chill. Uh, uh, he a scrub. Don't come up on me. Don't try to talk to me. He a scrub. All this shit. Real talk. They trying to tell you what's up. Like, they really don't care about no man, dude. Like, when a woman dress up, who you think she dressing up for? You? The only one woman dress up for, only one, only woman that dress up for you is a stripper. She dress up for you to take your money. The girl you going out with, dress up so other women see her in a certain light. She can give a fuck about what you think. Why you think when you come home, she wearing no makeup, just looking bummy as hell at the crib, fucked up, nothing, nothing just nothing. Just, and that's what you see 85% of the time. Unless she going or coming from work. Y'all need to think about this shit a little bit, man. Because the roles are shifting in the 21st century, man. It's not the same. These women is men now, dude, and they 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 expecting what you expecting. So, you know, ain't, ain't no more getting no back rub after you get off, cause she want one too. Not that she didn't got off. So, you know, y'all let me know in the comments, man. What y'all think about marriage, man? I just think it's a bold deal right now, man. And, and, and until they throw some trinkets in there for men, dude, then I I don't see playing it. I don't I don't see I don't see doing it. It's it's, it's just a gamble that you gonna lose. It's a crap out. You know what I'm saying? It's a crap out, dude. You know. And relationships don't work, so that ain't no much much better, man. You got to make a choice, man, fellas. Y'all got to make a choice, man. Companionship with a woman, man, taking it all away, dude. I'm starting to understand why it's a snare, and I'm sure other fellas who on this IB more shit, even the MGTOW dudes, is learning that it's it's becoming it's becoming that, man, and it's, it's to that point. But yeah, man, put mark that shit down in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. You know what I'm saying?
Your boy ZO out, man.